best part of the, the technique section that I enjoy most is infusing natural sweeteners, whether it's agave, light or dark, yakon syrup, or, or even things like maple syrup. Um, it's perfect. You can do a lot of things with infusing sweeteners, but um, I'm going to bring a little bit of my childhood, saffron, and then of course uh, my adulthood, black truffle. And basically all you have to do, you get a liter. The thing about getting a liter um, jars of agave is that what, what it will do, it will allow it to infuse for a lot longer. Because you won't be able to use this in one go, unless you're like me, an agave addict. Uh, basically, if you're going to use black truffle, you buy it. Uh, here in Victoria, we have beautiful black truffles and also in WA. And you finely grate it. You don't need a lot, but depending on how strong you want it to be, you know, uh, then you just grate as much as, as, your as your palate goes and just close it. There you go, beautiful black truffle infused light agave. You could do the exact same thing with other sweeteners. Now what this flavor does is that it's got a really beautiful earthy flavor, which is great with any sort of um, chocolate or sort of rich desserts that you're going to be doing. And next up, I like to do saffron. Uh, there are different types of saffron you can get. Today we're gonna to use a Spanish A grade saffron. And we're going to put again, as much as you like for a liter, I would say a nice good sort of pinch of saffron, a bit of water. And what you do is with like a knife, or if you have a mortar pistol. Just basically crush them. Here. And just get rid of some of the agave because you're going to have the infused saffron in here and just pour it in. Beautiful. Again, close it, give it a good shake. And what, what water does is that it traps little bubbles of oxygen into the agave, which is fantastic because it will allow the, the saffron to breathe and to grow in those little trapped bubbles, which then again, when you're shaking it before using it, it has a beautiful, awesome saffron infused flavor. And it also looks really gorgeous on your shelf. And of course, um, you can do this with any other spices, depending on the, the season and what kind of work you're doing, what kind of dessert you're working with. You could do things with cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, or any other citrus. Um, does anyone have a, an orange? Cheers. And basically, with the same thing with orange, what you do is you, as we have learned before, fine grate it. You can do the same thing with limes, grapefruit skin. Just make sure you sweep it, sweep all the color off the citrus. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Again, you can do this with any natural sweeteners or even honey, if you like. Give it a shake. Here we go. Basically everything I like. Rich, flavored sweetness to add that extra depth to whatever you do.